Hello everyone. Today, we're going to learn how to turn on WPS on your PLDT home fiber modem. WPS, or Wi-Fi Protected Setup, makes connecting devices to your Wi-Fi super easy. It uses a button instead of typing in a password. Let's get started. First, understand what WPS is. It's a convenient way to connect devices. It avoids the hassle of manually entering your Wi-Fi password. This is especially helpful for devices like printers or smart home gadgets. Now, let's proceed to the steps on how to turn WPS on using your PLDT home fiber modem. Unfortunately, turning WPS on or off isn't always straightforward on PLDT home fiber modems. Many newer models have WPS disabled by default for security reasons. However, we can try a few methods. Method 1, check your modem for a WPS button. Look for a button labeled WPS on the back or side of your modem. It often has the WPS symbol. If you find it, press and hold the button for a few seconds. The WPS light should start blinking. This means WPS is enabled. Then, on your device, select the WPS connection option. Your device should automatically connect to your Wi-Fi network. If you can't find a WPS button, don't worry. We have another way. Method 2. Access your modem settings through a web browser. Open a web browser on your computer or phone. Type your modem's IP address into the address bar. This is usually 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.254.254. Check your modem's manual for the correct IP address. You might be asked to enter a username and password. The default username is often admin, and the password might be admin or pldtadmin. Again, check your modem's manual. Once you're logged in, look for the WLAN or wireless settings. Navigate through the menus until you find WPS settings. The location of this setting varies depending on your modem model. Once you find the WPS settings, check if WPS is enabled or disabled. If it's disabled, enable it. Then, save the changes. Your modem might restart. After the restart, WPS should be enabled. Now you can connect your devices using WPS. Remember, WPS can be a security risk if not managed properly. It's a good idea to disable WPS after you've connected all your devices. This helps prevent unauthorized access to your network. To disable WPS, follow the same steps as enabling it, but this time, disable the WPS option. Remember to save the changes. That's it. You've learned how to turn on WPS on your PLDT home fiber modem, and also how to disable it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more helpful tips and tricks.